One should always plant flowers and plants in clay pots instead of plastic pots because clay pots can help in keeping the soil moist. The clay pots can insulate plant roots against overheating in the summer and can hold air and water as per requirement of the plants growing in them. It can also provide spaces for necessary deposits of calcium, minerals, and salts from fertilizers to work properly. Nowadays people are avoiding clay pots and using plastic pots because the plastic pots are much easier to maintain and does not get dirty like the clay pots. The clay pots easily get dirty with fungus on them if rainwater used to fall on the clay pots. Dirty clay pots with fungus can damage the plants. There are many paints available for coloring the clay pots, but within a very short time the clay pots get redeposit with fungus and disease organisms. If the clay pots are kept in open place where direct sunlight, and especially when rainwater used to fall upon the clay pots. Here I am sharing a simple idea how to prevent the clay pot from getting deposit with fungus and disease organisms. If you are using old clay pot with fungus on it, then first of all clean it properly with a brush or with anything you like. Now don't color the clay pot with clay pot colors, but use a good branded wood premium paint. Color the clay pot nicely and apply a second coat and let it dry before leaving the pot in the open area where direct sunlight or rainwater used to fall. After the paint is properly dried up, the clay pot is ready to be kept anywhere and is fungus and disease organisms protected from outside. The clay pot will remain fungus free for many years and will much easier to clean like a plastic pot but much healthier for the plant and eco friendly. One more thing before filling soil in a clay pot, make sure you put some stones or pebbles above the hole of the clay pot, where the excess water can easily pass away without harming the plant. For making the clay pot soil for fertile, squeeze small amount of lime or lemon juice on the soil. The lime juice will make the soil more fertile and can save a sapling from getting infected with diseases. Before planting a stem of a plant directly on soil, first dip the stem in a bottle filled with clean water. Water helps the plant to prepare food, and after some days you can see new leaf and roots growing out of the stem inside the bottle filled with water. Using this method, rose plant can easily be grown on a flower pot from a stem. After the roots are formed and new leaves are grown, Nicely plant the stem on the flower pot and see the plant grow much faster than planting directly on a flower pot.
even any kind of seed can be dipped in water, till it develops into a sapling, and then plant the same in a flower pot, for faster growing.